snapping the branches from her trunks, apologizing with her lightning. She wished to go back to the universe, to go beyond the layers of atmosphere and hug the sun. The sky missed the sun more than the universe missed solitude, and words missed meaning, and the trees missed their branches. For a sky I knew him when they were young, before time and, time and loss fabricated itself into an idea, when sky was still space and space was still empty. They used to play tag in the backyard of light years, gleefully screaming into the existence of galaxies, but never hide and seek. For hiding from the sky was futile, but sun never missed sky, for the sky had left sun willingly for earth. Tiny, tiny and green, earth is seed in the vast space of oak trees will never be as bright as sun, never as big, never as important. Earth, one in a billion earth, engulfing sky in its atmosphere and moon in its orbit. Earth had been eaten for the moon, gravity its apple, the earth its serpent. Moon, a weary traveler, finally found the release of responsibility. Resting her feet in the stream of gravity, but Earth's gravity turned into chains, the stream of roaring river. The moon forces it in the muddy banks of Earth, tide rushing over her body, reaching past her mouth, but never her nose. So she never drowned, never lived, never roamed, and never left. The moon, longing for Mother Universe, made home at the river bank. Earth wanted to hold on to the one thing she could cherish. For even without freedom, the moon comforted Earth in ways the water could not. Always held Earth closer than the sky wanted to so Earth cannot let Moon go. She cannot build the dam, she, she cannot plant the trees in the bank, and cannot unchain Moon. What is tied? What is tied was the only time he could briefly collide with his mother, to give her his presence, the waves against the sand and the sand flowing into the ocean. The water had been tired since the days the stars started to form, and, exhaust, and, exhausting, was as, and exhausting was as set part as the desolate riverbank. Moon and water, set in a dance of light years, forever being trapped in the music of nature, tail eating snake for as long as there were still trees. They reach for each other just for one touch, water becoming cloud to get closer, only to end up hearing sky troubles. For closeness is impossible when you can't touch, so they agreed to be in each other's presence, to never leave each other and always stay, for even if closeness was impossible, companionship was not. The moon trapped in Earth's gravity and water's love. Earth trapped in its selfishness and petty. The water couldn't sleep, and the sky couldn't hug the sun. The tribulations of sky, moon, earth, and water. 